Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Quite an exciting mail call, it was, it just came in the post, I didn't actually know it was coming yesterday, this was yesterday, and on opening the box I'm like, what, what's in here? And I opened them up and there was two brushes. Now the brushes, I knew they were coming, I just forgot about them, and I didn't realise they were going to be with me so soon. And the brushes we're talking about here are these. Now these handles are ceramic, I believe, I think they're made by the artisan that makes these knots. I think it's his sister that makes these. Now these are rhodium knots. They are made by Serjan Danicic. I believe he's Russian, I'm not sure. I think it's Russian, I don't wanna get it wrong. If, I, if you're not Russian, I'm sorry mate, if I've offended you in any way. But what we have here is his Manchurian, which is pretty much untouched natural badger hair. And we have his silver tip which is a treated badger here. Now the feeling on both of these is quite drastically different. You know, this this feels even dry, feels like a cloud, it feels really soft. Whereas this one, it's got quite a bit of scritch and scratch. I've test lathered both of these in the hand. They both lathered up very, very well. However, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this on my face. I will try it at some point, probably the next few days. I'll try it on my face, but I think there's gonna to be too much scritch and scratch. Whereas this one is gonna be phenomenal. Now, the reason these brushes have been sent over to me basically are just to try out the knots and see what I think of them. Now, I have a knot from Rhodium Knots on the way. It should be here by the end of this week, hopefully. And it's pretty much the silver tip, which he does two, two knots. That's it. This is his two knots that he makes. The silver tip being the softer one, which is the sort of feel that I want in my face. I face ladder 99% of the time and that's really what I'm looking for. Now the handles are absolutely lovely. This one in particular, I really like the style, uh, but I also like the colour. It's like a black with a sort of copper, you can probably see that different coppery colour there. Very glossy, it's a lot of weight to it. I thought these would be light, but they're not, they're heavy. And there is a logo on the bottom. I'm not quite sure what it means or what the business is that makes it. If it's the sister that makes these, I'm not sure what her business is. It'll be interesting to find out. I can obviously pop a link down there if you're interested in having any ceramics done or a ceramic handle made. I'm not sure on the price point on these. I believe both of these knots are possibly 27 mil according to Surjan, but I'm not sure really to be honest, they look quite big. Now the one that's coming back in my handle is a 28 mil knot, which would suggest it's bigger than these two. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happening. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get to be honest, but what I'm doing, I'm soaking the, I'm soaking, I'm just talking shit now. I am soaking the silver tip right now. So I'm gonna take that out of the water, because I just wanna show you. So that's it completely soaking wet. So you see the water pouring out, but you can see how that's sort of, it's not gel tips, but you can see it's sort of gelled. So I'm gonna squeeze pretty much all the water out of there. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a shake and then show you the tips on it. So there we go. Now I have noticed on this knot, sort of from here, in a sort of half moon or a curve, there's like really light white tips and they're like super soft. But the actual whole knot is really, really soft to touch. As in comparison to this one, this one doesn't change much. I'll just dip it in the water and pull it out. I'm going to be using these brushes right after this video pretty much. You won't know that, but so I'll take that out, I've just dipped that in the water and you can see the difference. So it's still a little bit gelled down here, it's a little bit stuck together, but when you actually empty it out and just give it a couple of light flicks, it doesn't quite gel the same. It doesn't, oh, they don't stick together the same as this one. And the tips, when wet, are softer than they are when they're dry, but they are still quite prickly. They're, they're, it's certainly going to be quite a scritchy, scratchy experience using that brush. So I'm going to stick that in some water and let it soak. So if you want to reach out to Rhodium Knots, it's R-H-O-D-I-U-M Knots on Instagram. Surjan's an awesome bloke. He gets back to you. He's not, his, his response times are excellent, but obviously being in Australia, you've got to take into consideration we are generally miles in front of most people around the world. So it can take some time for him to get back to you, but he's generally back in touch with me within an hour or two in general, sometimes straight away. Service is excellent. 
like I say, sent these brushes over. He's re knotted my brush, which I paid for to have re knotted. And he's also sending me something else over, a little special surprise to use on the channel for a little while. And other than that, if you've got any questions, pop them down below. If you're interested in pricing and such, I'm not quite sure. I don't want to say my price of what I paid in case my price is different to your price. I'm not interested in that. I like to think that it'll be the same price that I'm paying that you're paying because I don't think there should be any sort of favoritism between me because I put stuff on a channel. But if I find out there's no difference, then I'll obviously shout from the, the rooftops about it. But I think in terms of pricing, it's excellent value for money. It's quite considerably cheaper than grooming department. Is it grooming department? Declaration grooming, sorry, not grooming department, declaration grooming. It's quite considerably cheaper than that. They're all hand tied, the dense knots, and the hair that's in this one, I'm led to believe is very, very similar to the type, the, the hair type that is in a declaration grooming brush. So I'm really looking forward to using it. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Head shave time and face shave time, the two separate videos, but I'm basically just showcasing the knots from Rhodium Knots, hand tied in Australia by Serjan Danicic, and they are very, very special knots. The, the silver tip one is certainly my style, it's a lot softer on the tips, but the one I'm using for my head shave today is the Manchurian Badger, and it is quite scritchy and scratchy, so I'm gonna use it on my head because my head can take more of a beating. I don't think it's gonna to be too good for a face shave. However, let's get stuck in. So I've had it soaking in the water here. Now I'm just gonna empty the water out of here from the brush, set it to the side, and then I'm gonna pop this one straight in. This is the, the silver tip vary, the softer vary. So the Manchurian Badger, both of these knots are set in ceramic handles. I believe these are made by Serdian's sister. And I don't know what the, what it's called, but I'm assuming that's a G, I think, or is it an upside down Arabic symbol or something, I don't know. But that's what the knot looks like. This one is the Manchurian. It is pretty much very untouched, untreated, natural badger here, top grade badger here. It does feel nice. There, there is a, a softness to it, they're just like every, I don't know how many hairs, but you can feel the prickly hairs as you sort of rub your fingertips over. I can feel them. And I'm going to feel it. I know for a fact I'm going to feel it when I do my head shave. I'm going to feel it on my head doing its thing. Now, a lot of people love that scritch and scratch. I am not one of them. But anyway, let's get stuck into it. Mitchell's real fat. Needs no introduction. I'm not using that for my face shave today. I will be using Talon Steel Maya because I have used that for a while and tallow and steel make awesome soaps and splashes. I'll be finishing off with the Maya Splash head and face. So at the moment, my... Oh, I'll start from the start of the day. Been out, been out and done a quote this morning. Came back from the quote and went to the hospital. Had my x-ray done at the hospital on my arm and found, thankfully, that my arm is healed approximately 75%, about 75% of the way there, which is great. However, I'm still another six weeks away from hopefully being back to full fitness and the ability to go back to work full time and actually go back to work and, and drive the car. I can't even drive yet. I'm not allowed to drive a car still, even if it's an automatic, can't drive. So, good news. The other good news is, and I forgot to mention it in my last video from yesterday, on Friday, my son had a, my youngest son had an appointment or an interview for a scholarship at one of the one of only two schools in Western Australia that do soccer scholarships and he was offered a half scholarship which over the weekend we accepted and Max will start his new school and his new journey next February at the football academy where he'll be doing anywhere between two and four hundred hours a week extra soccer extra football which is just amazing. If I had that when I was a kid, I have no doubt in my mind there's a chance I might have made it at some point in my life. Right, let's paint this on. Yeah, I mean, I can feel the scritch and the scratch on this just from painting. So certainly this knot appeals to, a, in my opinion, it would appeal to a sort of smaller band of people. People with really tough skin. <laughs> it does feel nice though. You know, now that I'm splaying it, it feels really nice, but not my scene. This is definitely far too scritchy for me. So if you like 
a lot of scrub and a lot of scratch. I mean, Spencer Franco, this could certainly be something for him, but not my style. As you can see, the splay on it, it's not massive because it is so dense, even looking at that, how sort of dense the knot is. Very, very dense knot. I'm going to just add some water in there, just put it on the tips of the brush. So these knots are hand tied out of the Australian, or the ACT, the Australian Capital Territory, which I believe is where Canberra is located, which is Australia's main capital of the whole country, where I think the, the head of parliament and all that sits, where the prime minister sits and all the parliament houses are, where they make all the stupid decisions. But Sir Jan's a really nice guy. And he's obviously he's shown a lot of trust in me as well. He is sending something over, which I'm really excited about using. And I have been for a long time trying to use one of these. Most of you know what it is. If you've watched my channel for long enough, you know what I've been after. I do have it. I do panic now. Panic every time I get a new badger brush in the day that it's going to start shedding, especially hand tight. I've had absolutely no luck whatsoever with hand tied shaving brushes. So far, so good. Very, very dense knot. And Mitchell's real fat, you can't go wrong. Probably needs more water, but to be honest, is it really going to get much better than this? Let me just give me a second. There we go. So it releases the lather really well. You can see the flow through. The flow through is excellent. You can see, I mean, the brush is so dense, I can't even really make a hole in the bottom of it. Normally, I'd have quite a big hole there. There's a, there's a hit, is it? I thought it was. I'm going to be using the skin guard today just for a quick shave and because I did my head yesterday. Now, all the lather that's around the side there, you can see there. So it whips up a lovely lather. The brush is absolutely chock a block, and here we go. So, just with the skin guard, nice and easy shave cartridge razor that is what it looks like. It's got a little trimming tool in the back, which I don't really need to use for my head. And let's just go directly against the grain because I've only got 24 hours growth. So the Manchurian knot from Rhodium Knots, which is this one, untreated, very natural here, as it pretty much comes off the badger, that is what it feels like, I believe. It's still a high grade, high quality here, from what I'm led to believe, but not my style. Far too scritchy and scratchy for me. And I'm pretty sure that Serge, I was aware of that, given what I asked for in my brush handle. Now this cartridge on this razor has done about 15 or 20 head shaves. I can feel now that it's, it feels like it's more skimming over the hair than actually cutting it. In fact, do you know what I think it actually is? Just let me change it. Not the blade, I'm just going to change the razor altogether. I'm going to go with the head blade motor. Same one I used yesterday. It's just that that cartridge is dead. It's dead. So definitely between 15 and 20 shaves I'm getting from it. From a skin guard cart. But still not real great value for money. 
very expensive cartridges, they're like 20 odd bucks for four if you just buy them at your local supermarket. If you're patient enough to wait until the sales come on, which generally with Gillette products and things they wanna, you get cheap products, promotions pretty regularly, then you'll be all right. I mean, I recommend this gun, of course I do, I really do, I think, really, it's one of the best razors on the market. Comfortably one of the best razors on the market. In terms of cartridges. The enjoyment factor for me isn't quite there. There's a real sense of almost a sense of achievement when you get a great shave with a double edged razor or a straight razor or a chevette or whatever you use, a single edged razor, whatever your razor of choice is there's a real sort of you can't really describe it and it's not something that you get the first time you use a razor like that because generally your first 50 shaves are pretty average You'll get the odd one where you'll be like, wow, that was brilliant, got a really good shave. And then you'll have another five or six that are good, but they're not great. There's a bit of hair there somewhere, I can't find them there. It's there. Let's just wet my hand and just put a little bit of moisture on there. Look at that slipness, is just phenomenal. And there we go. One BBS head shave. Pretty much five minutes the actual head shave itself. But talking a little bit about the knot and the handles. Now the handle on this brush, I do really like it. I think it's a lovely handle. I'm not sold on ceramic. For the obvious reason that if you do on the very unlucky occasion drop it the likelihood is it won't survive it'll most likely smash and shatter all over the floor however these do feel chunky they do feel solid they feel very very hefty in the hand these handles and they might just prove me wrong so it's all for today for the head shave Oh, it's Mitchell's Wool Fat, the same soap I used in my recent face shave uh, performs outstandingly well every time I use it. I have not had all right, so it was Mitchell's Wool Fat, super brilliant shave, and there's the brush there, fully loaded up. I'm just going to rinse that out now, squeeze all the excess out. A lot of soap in there, it really holds the soap, but it does release it nicely. I'm really, really looking forward to using this silver tip now. I do have another brush on the way. which I managed to pick up from that lovely gentleman over in the UK and I'm hoping when that one gets here that it's another hand tied knot I'm hoping that one doesn't shed and I have been assured <laughs> that it's not a shedder so if it sheds when I get it, it's definitely me and it'll be the third brush that I've had second hand that's a shedder the one that I've got from Rhodium Knots is obviously a brand new knot first but it's hand tied personally for me so it should be absolutely fine there is a 27mm rhodium knot Manchurian hair grade. It is still quite soft, if I'm honest. I just feel that little bit of scritch to it. But it's a very dense knot. You can see how dense that is. So I'm squeezing really hard there. 